Hi folks, uh, in this video we're going to be discussing finding an equation of a circle given three points. Now to do this um, we need to know the other other format of, gen of the general equation of a circle and the other general equation is this right here x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals zero. Don't panic about g, f and c. Um, we'll do an example and hopefully you can pick up how to how to figure out the equation itself. So here goes. So we want to find the equation of the circle that passes through the three points 2, 5, 3, negative 2 and negative 6 and 1. Now just a bit of a heads up, you are going to be doing simultaneous equations for this so have your graphics calculator handy. Um, yeah, let's get started, yeah? So what I'm going to do is Using these three points, I'm going to substitute three of these points into where x and y is and basically come up with three equations with three unknowns. And the three unknowns are going to be g, f, and c. And hopefully we can work it out from there. So let's get started going to work on the first point which is 2 5 so the point that I'm working with first is 2 5 so my first equation is going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared plus well 2 times 2 is 4 G plus 2 times 5 would be 10 y, 10 F plus c equals to zero. So I'm going to rewrite this so that all the numbers are on the right hand side and I will end up with 4g plus 10f plus c equals negative 29. So this is going to be my first equation. So remember I'm going to have three equations with three unknowns. So on to my second point which happens to be 3, negative 2. Okay, and I've got the equation in here. So 3, negative 2, 3 squared is going to, well, just write it down as 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. 3 times 2 for the g here would make it 6g. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4y plus c equals to 0. And once again, I am going to move the number to the right-hand side, which is going to be negative 13. So now I have my second equation. I'm going to use my third point to create the third equation. The third point was negative 6 and 1. I just realized that I made a mistake in the previous one. This right here should have been not y but f. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go back to here. So we had negative 6 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 times negative 12 well, Actually, that's 2 times negative 6, which would be negative 12g plus 2f plus c equals 0. So this would be negative 12g plus 2f plus c equals, that would be negative 37. Okay, now I'm going to bring all of these three equations together. So let's get that first equation. So here's my first equation from the first point. Now on to the second equation. There's my second equation. And now on to the third equation. Here we go. Three equations. Now there's a reason why I put these in four different colors. Because when you go to your graphics calculator, you would have to have... Well, you'll kind of see it. I'll, I'll try and sort this out. So, for the graphics calculator, next up. So, the instructions for graphics calculator. 
click on menu, go to equations, which should also be button 8, find simultaneous equations, which is F1, number of unknowns, you should have 3, and when you press this, your screen should look like this. Okay, hopefully your calculator should look like this, and the idea is, you're going to write all the coefficients of G in this column, all the coefficients of F in this column, the coefficients of C in this column, and finally the constants by themselves in this column. Okay, so once you enter all the numbers, uh, notice how the coefficient of C is 1. Remember that uh, the first column was G, then you had F, then you had C, and then you had the numbers, or the constants. Press F1, which is your solve button. If you press that, you should end up with answers that look like this, 1, negative 1, and negative 23. Basically, that just means G is equal to 1, F is equal to negative 1, and Z or C is equal to negative 23. So going back to our equation, which was this right here, but we figured out the values of G, F, and C, which were, which were 1, negative 1, and negative 23. So this equation then would simply be x squared plus y squared plus 2 times 1 is 2, so plus 2x minus 2y minus 23 equals 0. Of course, from this point onwards, you can complete the square to find the radius and what else can we find? And the center of the circle. But I guess this question they just ask you just for the equation so you could leave it here. Alright, hopefully you picked up something from that. Thanks for watching.